Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make buttons in the screen mode. So let's go ahead and jump into Darkroom Boost. So I'm going to continue the trial version. I always start the trial uh, when I'm creating templates or just testing out new ideas within the program. Uh, the trial version is free and you don't need an activation code to transfer files into the activated version that you have. So let's go ahead and get into the screens. And as you see, I already created a button here for black and white color and prints. If you go into edits, let's just go ahead and redo this prints button here. Um, let's see, so I'll just right click and delete that. And if I click on this one, if we go to edit item, you can see that it's a ellipse. Uh, color shape is gray, shadow color, black, and the two options for that button. So it's set to custom and grayscale plus start. So if I click on custom, the edit, it's only set to the attract mode to show during the attract mode and the during startup. So if I, all these other ones are unchecked, if I hit OK. Same with the booth command, if I hit edit. You can see it's set to grayscale for black and white. And it's checked for start photo session after applying the command. So when they push it, it will turn the live view grayscale or black and white. And it'll start the session. So I hit OK. Uh, in the text here, you can see that it's uh, just the type of font that was used and where how it's positioned, so middle and middle here. So this is for the vertical alignment. So if I hit OK and let's go ahead and just pretty much recreate that button. So I'm gonna go to add shape. We're gonna choose the ellipse. Shape color is already set to gray. We'll next choose the draw inside shadow. Leave that as black. So when shown, this is going to change to. We'll have it set to custom. Just want to uncheck all of these right here because we only want this button for the prints to be shown at the end. So when shown, booth command. So we'll, we'll choose uh, print copies. Okay. And this is all just for testing purposes. You know, I highly advise everyone to download uh, the trial version for the program and test out new ideas this way. Um, it's very, <clears throat> it's good uh, muscle memory to help you learn this way uh, through the trial version. Let's see, so booth command, print copies, okay. So, just resize this a little bit. Um, last, we forgot to put the text, so if I go back into text here and type in prints, we'll just put this middle, 
Okay. If I want to change that to white, we'll just go back to edit item. And I'm not going to get too picky with this one. I just want to show you how to set it up and the things you can do with these buttons. So if I go back to edit item, in that booth command, you, if you notice, there's all this, these various little effects and graphics and uh, different things you can do with the buttons. So just feel free to play around with any of these right here. And we'll test it. Let's so just hit save again. So right now this template that I have, it's uh, three pictures, print. I don't have a printer connected to this computer. I'm just using um, this trial version that I have on a separate computer. So right now it's set to show four pictures, but only three will show since the template is three. Uh, let's go ahead and hit start booth. Okay. And we'll just choose one of these. And after this last picture right here is the button should show. There we go. So if, if everything's all set up, uh, you should be able to just hit this button here. And then I'll give you the option to uh, pick out more prints. But uh, Basically, that's how you create new buttons. That's how you can um, add more effects to your screen screen settings you know you can uh, add in different types of print alter alternates so like let's say you want them to print if they want to print a, di a different type of template design that you have as an alternate you can set something like that as well too hopefully this helps and let me know if you if you enjoy this i'll see you in the next one